Hello viewers, today I am to talk to you about the age related risks of fertility issues. See, uh, majority of them a decade before or a decade two before, uh, usually the marital age for a girl is around 20, 22 years and for a guy is around 22 to 25, I can say less than 25. So the marriages for the both boys and girls are performed before 25 years when the fertility potential is very high. So reproduction was always not a trouble previously. But now the both girl and the boy wants to have a full education program completed and then they want to plan for the pregnancy or they try to either postpone the marital period or the pregnancy period. So the normal average marital life age for a girl now per se is around 30 to 32 years and for a guy is around 32 to 35. So for which few people have like facing fertility issues. So what I am here to tell these people is they can have an annual checkup of their hormones, reproductive endocrinological hormones and the reserve of the eggs and the sperms done with a reproductive medicine specialist and if they fail that they have a good average of pool of eggs and sperms, they can postpone their marital period to some extent. But this has to be done every year or once in every two years when they have adequate ovarian reserve and sperm reserve. Incidentally, if they tend to know that the ovarian reserve is becoming low or the sperms are becoming low, they have to preserve the sperms and the eggs for the future offsprings. This we call as fertility preservation. So what they can do is they can stimulate the ovary, collect the oocytes and preserve them or take a part of the ovarian tissue and preserve the ovarian tissue. Similarly, men can either freeze their sperm or freeze their testicular tissue from which they can tease and get out the sperms later and can have their own child. So fertility preservation is gaining lots of importance and attention these days. This is also recommended for the cancer patients who are about to undergo chemotherapy and radiotherapy before completing their family life because once chemotherapy and radiotherapy is being given, it can lead to decreased or totally depleted reserve of oocytes and sperms. So always for those people who have not completed their family life, who are about to undergo these treatments for cancer, need to preserve their egg and sperms before they get into all these treatments.